My Volberg VR100 has been doing a sterling job ever since we unboxed her all those years ago. Oh look, doesn't like me picking it up. But today we are actually going to shut her down. Support, shut down. And then she's off because today we have a few little jobs to do. Because she's been doing so well, we have some parts which we need to fit to see if we can pep this up and have her running reliably for a while longer. Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, this has been a very good £70, I'll be honest, it has just done upstairs all morning, every morning it has done upstairs, bar I cut, on the weekends I have the children, we disable it by just popping its bin up and leaving it askew because obviously you have to have a very tidy house and this is not tidy on the weekends that I have the kids but during the week, yep, it just buzzes around 7 o'clock every morning. So, I spent a bit of money on it and we have three packages here, these two are for later. We shall start with this which came all the way from foreign country, Deutschland, Holland. Deutsche Post. Inside of it is two rubber belts. These belts, the big one, is for the LiDAR sensor under here and the little one is for this brush here. This brush here being the side brush it is not a <laughs> happy bunny at all bless it. So yeah we're going to attempt to fit those. So we'll take the undercarriage off or oh, give it a bit of a clean up at the same time. We'll take the brush roll out more on the brush roll later and then we'll take the bin out this is about an average three days worth of dirt really it's not too bad definitely needs cleaning out and then we get our drill oh, and have you want undo not to do up and then yeah take out all of these functions here With all those screws removed, bearing note that this front corner one is the shortest, all the rest are an identical length, we can have this kick plate off. And I think that is it for the moment. The next thing we need to do is remove all the screws. And we'll actually have a quick peek, just because I can't remember if we need to come under here or not, at the batteries, because we haven't actually looked at the batteries yet, and it might be prudent to disconnect them as well. So here are, ah, how are we going to do this? Do we just pull from your wires? Yes, we do. Marvellous. Here is one battery pack. Get to the other one, because yeah, may as well take it off anyway. If there are a pair of these brand new on eBay for £100. There you go, that little vol work, or, well, we need so now, but yeah, battery pack, and still buy these however these are still really really good by me it, it doesn't even need to go back on charge when it's done but it does so yeah no issues with the battery whatsoever right where are all the screws here is there one under there here oh you're not a random talks are you no there you go out you come so they are all of the casing screws and then we're going to flip them over her over me oh, <laughs> there's no weight in it now so the, it, the wheels can push the whole thing up these two screws on here and then in theory ah there we go look oh we can take the bottom off at least i might have to Pause and work out, but hey, look, here is our suction motor. Look, wow, Veronica, crikey, a dust buster would be more. Oh my goodness, how did you go? You went like that. 
bear that in mind for later. Right, I do now see a load more screws though. That is quite handy. So I'll take this off, ah, this out with a little connector in here. What's this? This is the charging coils. Well, that's good. We can see it does get quite hot when it charges on those, but it seems okay for now. Ah, yes, and then there's more screws here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that might be it now. Uh, eh, eh. So they are those four. Flip her upside down. In fact, oh yes, it does come apart. It's a big crikey look. This is it. This is all that crikey doesn't that look disgusting? This is all that feeds it. Look, I have literally got more powerful PCs. There, more powerful fans in my PC. Don't think there's any way that we can hack it though, because that's about the size of what we've got. And, oh look! He says, missing the screw completely. There was another screw. Right. Ah, very loose now. Oh no, right, we've lost our filter cage back. It seems to be finding up at the front and that's because look I've missed one two three ah four screws and then hello you come off you come out pick out the little zip connector you come out and hello we can look inside of here. Right, I'm just going to go find all those screws and put them together and then we'll have a better look here. Okay, so my limited attention span should see as good with the grouping of the screws. And yeah, here she is. The first thing we're going to do, though, is I'm going to bomb the volume right down on the edit. So this won't be as loud for you. And we're going to give this a good airing out. One day we'll finish that apex blower. Today is not the day. Crikey though, look, two of these fell out, although they seem to just sit there and there. That'll be the front sensors, front sensors, side sensors. Very good indeed. Our first belt sits here and should just be a case of feed, or winding it out, look, if we wind the sensor. The belt comes out as well and it doesn't actually look stretched at all. In fact, it's absolutely fine. Grr. I think I'll just put that back on, you know, because eh, what a waste of time that was. This is slightly the problem with this. They were cheap, so I thought I would get it because, you know, it doesn't hurt it. I mean, by me, it's certainly not had any before. I don't think, but yeah, there isn't anything wrong with this one, and I'm probably better off just waiting until it does, because what happens is, it starts to error when it's cleaning. I think that's on. No, it's not on at all. Oh, it ding. There we go. It starts to error when it cleans, because obviously it slips, and it can't concentrate on where it should be. And that error doesn't happen on this one. I, oh, well, well, yeah, well, you can just fall out. doesn't happen on this one. I just bought them because now the front side belt sits underneath these three much smaller little screws here here and one of them here oh i can feel the motor dropping down already i've got to have you this way around i'm afraid oh my goodness hello Look, the whole assembly comes out nicely. Now, again, this one seems pretty much okay, must admit. Although it would be nice to get a little bit of grease in there as well. In fact, I don't quite know how. Oh, there is a screw. That's not a screw. How the heck does one change this belt? I think it might just be a case of forcing it on and then 
eh, it should be okay. So I'm going to get this on. There was a little bit of oil down there because that does seem quite a thing that could do with oil. Although again, it's fine. Although eh, that belt is a little bit bouncy. I think that could do with changing. So bear with. Our new belt is fitted. It's still drying from the clean down I gave it. But yeah, again, it seems exactly the same as the old belt and I'm going to be honest because I got these all the way from you know a different country and that seems to be how it works I'm going to put those back on there and put these back in this envelope and probably lose them in my paperwork somewhere and then yeah one day when it actually does snap we can have a spare without me having to buy one and that's the only reason we came in here really we didn't need to do that one we didn't really need to do that one but we've done it let's put this together and have a look at the other stuff that we have <laughs> A short time later we are back together, I've no idea if we work yet, I presume we do, yes, battery is low, please charge me, that's slightly annoying because you were fully charged before, I guess unplugging the batteries has upset the very basic, shut up, the very basic you know, battery technology that's in it, so a little bit annoying, but hey ho, let's turn you off. I'll flip you back underneath because it's time to open the next parcel. This came today. This is why I am filming this video today. All the way from Germany with who knows what being advertised to me. Sorry pal, now I can do. We have a couple of genuine spare parts. Look, a side brush for a VR100 and a brush roll. Yes, I saw these on eBay and couldn't say no. Oh, all right, okay. And I didn't think we needed a new brush roll actually until I just felt these side by side. These brushes are actually a little bit stiffer. They have a bit of a profile to them. What's a lot stiffer are these rubber flaps. And yeah, we have ourselves a genuine brand new <laughs> brush roll which don't crop up every day i mean i could have gotten away i could have got away with just buying a flipping side brush for this to be completely honest but you know it's done now and hopefully it's going to run a lot better so yes we have ourselves our little brush might keep this one just as a spare because again you know to get anything for it it's got to pretty much come from abroad and that's not too bad again as you saw in the unboxing you can take all of this apart but yeah i think we'll keep it for now until i have a really ruthless clear out because yeah just in case we need anything from it ah uh, whatever you can go up there so yeah there's that then we can put our base plate on clickety click and then this is this is pretty much the only thing this actually needs needs is a new look. It's missing a tuft completely look and there's a hair old clog there. So yeah, brand new genuine magnetic side sweeper brush. Marvellous. Over there. Now obviously we can't test it out, annoyingly, because I presume you still think you're dead. Yeah, you do. So, we'll leave you bleeping away there, and we'll come on to the last bit, which is the dirt bin. This is about the only pain, really, of the whole experience, is that you do have to empty it. Oh, I know, shock horror, who would have thought? So you have to go get another vacuum cleaner, which is what I do, and give it all a bit of a clean out. Usually the MBV gets used because it's cordless and it's there. So yes, this is the same filter that it came with when we got it. And I would imagine it's the same filter it came with when new. So for six-ish pounds, I, I, I bought six brand new filters for pretty much nothing. So six pounds, Barty Spares, says that obviously they are for a Neato but, and as you can tell by the fact that what is loose, I have checked, 
they do fit. So obviously this is a Nito Popvac XV11. It feels a bit cheaper than this, but can't deny it's the same. So we can have a nice new filter as well. I can start to wash these. I'm going to experiment and chuck it through the washing machine in a month and then fit another new one and see. We'll also put this through the washing machine and see if it comes up okay as well. So the only thing I've really left me to do for the ungrateful thing now is to give it a charge and I'll film some sort of demonstration slash showing you it cleaning. And as that demonstration clean shows you, although it has been a couple of months off camera, I managed to break the side wheel, the belt that I fitted broke, and I broke the wire. So I fixed that, and this is actually going to be the aftermath of me checking a hack that I did. Now those filters that we bought and so lovingly unboxed are actually the wrong size, they don't really fit this at all. They fall out. So this has now been around upstairs six times and this bit here that you have just seen and what I've done is I've taken our new filters and wrapped you can't really tell because it's working quite well some HEPA flow around them to see if that helps the suction stay a little bit there and if we take this off we can see that yes I think it has my little robot Vorwerk, which I would akin to a Dyson DC-34 really, or 35, with the turbo head, is picking up a nice little bit of dirt, and the filter is pretty spotless. Obviously that would get covered in that dirt, but instead it's hitting that and saving our filter material. So, clean this up. Reinstall our cleaned filter protector even with a small tiny hole in it. It's still fine really. It's only this thing is basically like a G-Tech air wrap. There's no real suction in it at all. But it just needs a few I mean it's only got a little 12 volt blower star motor on it. This thing's never going to set the world suction record, but all of this is gonna do is just stop the dirt from clogging up the filter. Although it is fiddly, and as much as I like this full work, I admire what we have done to it and its ease of taking apart. Oh, I am hungry after a self emptying robot cleaner because that is a lot of faff. But there we go, it is in. That'll do. It'll mean that it'll last, you know, maybe, maybe five cleans rather than three before it leaves empty. So yes, I am sort of on the hunt for a self-emptying robot. They seem to cost a lot 
a lot of money though. And the problem is with a self-emptying robot, even still, you've got to do this to it every once in a while. Even look, our brand new brush roll has already got some hair on it. There is some hair around there. It doesn't take much to put itself through and you still have to maintain it. So there we go. Was my cheap, there's only 70 odd pounds, Vorwerk Cobold VR100 or Nito Robotics XI. Yes, I'll put you down on the floor. To give it its full title, I really do like it. For potting around upstairs, whenever I schedule it, it is a lovely, lovely thing. You can't put a GoPro on the top of it because when it goes underneath stuff, it smashes it off, as you saw with my phone in that cleaning montage just now. It's a slight problem with this, and yes, obviously you have to maintain it yourself, but I think that's a pretty all right trade-off. And the fact that something, you know, that can be as cheap as this, we have a cheaper Nito robot on the way as of the time of filming this video. Stay subscribed so you don't miss the before video of that, where hopefully we can fix it. I think we got lucky with this one though. Doesn't need a battery. It's been fairly well taken care of. We've just given it a good old service. New brush roll because it was quite cheap. And obviously I had to fix the bit. That's I broke. So, have you got a cheapo, older style robot vacuum cleaner? Did you have it from new or have you picked it up, used as a bargain? Let me know what you think of it and what brand and model yours is. But until next time, I and my Vorwerk Nito VR100 will see you soon. Bye bye.